uh, I'm going to talk about more uh, of a uh, aspect which will give you the fellowship certificate or completion certificate, which is a mandatory requirement towards fellowship or any kind of project. Okay, once you enroll in any course. So today I'm going to talk about fellowship projects and thesis in robotic urology and uh, Objective of this session is to sensitize you. A fellowship project in robotic urology is a focused clinical or research study undertaken during training aimed at improving surgical techniques, outcomes or innovations in robotic urology. The thesis is the detailed scientific documentation of this project presenting its objectives, methods, results and conclusions. So what are the steps of research? If you can see on the slide. So first step is selection and development of research or clinical project. Second step is protocol design and ethical approval process. Till now you have worked theoretically. You have carried out um, all the review of literature. You have created a team who is going to help you. Now in the protocol design and ethical approval process, Whatever you have decided so far by identifying the project area, the gaps, creating the question, creating a hypothesis, identify what will be the potential outcome of my research or what scope will be there. Now you have to go into the protocol design and ethical permission process. The steps in research for a robotic urology project and thesis include identifying a research question, reviewing literature, designing methodology, collecting and analysing data and drawing conclusions. These steps are then compiled into a structured thesis with introduction, methods, results, discussion and conclusion. Topic. So your topic should definitely align with your career goals. You have to choose a topic which is in your expertise, which is in a particular area of a robotic urology and should enhance your career prospect. The first thing is why we are doing this research because it was a mandatory requirement. But just because it is a mandatory requirement does not mean you should select a mediocre topic. You have to select a good topic which will bring expertise in your field. The next thing is it should contribute to the field. It should be a meaningful project which should carry positive impact. Okay, it should be either integrating various tools of the robotics or integrating with the remote sensing or integrating with the AI or machine learning or integrating with the engineering projects. You should be making an impactful project. Okay, so it should help to advance the knowledge in the field and improve the patient. Like this demo class? Join MGA today and enroll now. Choose from 150 plus fellowship courses designed to boost your medical career.